Welcome to Meet the Candidates 2014 here at Hares and Hyenas. Thanks to StarObserver.com.au, PrideTV.com.au, brought to you by the Victorian Gay and Lesbian Rights Lobby. I'm Corey Earlham, the lobby's co-convener. Tonight we're going to be talking about documentation for trans and intersex people and here to tell us their party's view is Sean Mulcahy, candidate for the Greens from Bentley, Harriet Shing, candidate for the Upper House uh, in the West Eastern Victorian region for the ALP, Ed Huntington for the uh, seat of Melbourne for the Liberal Party and Fiona Patton for the Sex Party. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a bit of a topic we never spend any time talking about, and that's that T and I part of our community. Um, and we're really interested to hear today about your party's positions on documentation, the ability to change birth certificates, and make sure that the way that person feels inside and presents is the same as what their documentation has on them. So Sean, what's the Greens going to do about this issue? Well, you're right. It's an issue that isn't often spoken about, but it's incredibly important that we recognise um, the need for action on this at the state level. So the Greens have two key principles, that wherever possible, that sex and gender should not be included on government forms. There's no real need for it in a lot of situations where it currently exists. But where it does, people should have the right to self-identify. And what that means is that we need to change the laws to allow birth certificates to include male, female, but also unspecified or indeterminate or any combination thereof. And it's left to people where they have the capacity to decide for themselves how they wish to identify. And what we also need to do is end the requirement for surgery uh, or, hormonal therapy, uh, or hormonal therapy in order to amend documentation. As I said, one of our key principles is that people should be able to self-identify and that what they feel should be reflected in documents. Right. ALP's done some wonderful things for trans and intersex people federally looking after passports. What can you do at a state level? Absolutely. There have been a number of really significant and important reforms to restore an element of the dignity that's associated with official documentation. And it is an area, as you've correctly pointed out, that is still lacking. There is so much more work to do in terms of identifying areas and sources of discrimination and taking active measures to address them so that the trans and intersex members of our community have the same dignities and the same recognitions and acceptances that we are now starting to take for granted in terms of the way in which laws are made and developed over time. So the next Labor government uh, will amend the uh, Births, Deaths and Marriages Act to create a package that recognises partners from same-sex relationships uh, as well as intersex and transgender people um, and that then affords them with an equality and a recognition under the law that's currently been lacking. There's also an intention to initiate an audit and a review of all pieces of state-based legislation that contain a source of discrimination for trans and intersex people and ensuring that they are actually dealt with as soon as possible. Labor's not going to waste a minute in terms of commencement of this particular review and will undertake it rigorously and thoroughly to build on the reforms as part of the Dreyfus review at a federal level and also under the work of bodies and legislation such as the Human Rights uh, and Responsibilities Charter. Okay, great. Ed, the Liberal Party supported uh, gender identity and intersex status at a federal level. What are we going to do at the state level? Well, put simply, if you, if you don't need to ask gender, you shouldn't ask. And our commitment is that if there are issues uh, in terms of recognition and documentation, uh, then they're the issues that we're going to um, look into. I mean, our other, uh, our other uh, uh, stance on this is to say that we do need to work a lot closely with, more closely with birth, de deaths and marriages um, to address this issue, and it does come back to that. Uh, I'm aware of many issues, and uh, uh, we want to hear about them. Fiona, micro parties don't form government. What can you do to help this issue? No, I think it's really interesting because trans and intersex has actually been a big issue for the Australian Sex Party. In fact, I think we were probably the very first political party in Australia to run a trans candidate, and she did remarkably well in that election. Oh, it's really heartening to hear the major parties talk about the need for the gender box on government documentation. It's actually the first time I've heard that really spoken explicitly by the major parties. We removed the gender box on our membership forms, for example, years ago. 
And frankly, every time I've travelled overseas, no one has asked me to see my genitals. So I do not understand why we are asking for gender on most of our government documentation. My God, they're taking our thumbprints, their eye prints, really. They need to, they, everything they need to know of how to identify us is available. And people shouldn't need to go through medical treatment or any forms of other treatments to, to start to identify in the sex or gender that they, that they want to identify in. Um, it's really interesting, you know, the, the important part of this reform is that it's about how a person identifies and it shouldn't be based on their genitals or the surgery they have. Mm -hmm. Harriet, quick yes or no question here. You said we're not going to waste any time. Is this going to be a first 100 days piece of legislation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks very much for talking about the topic. And uh, we're here at Hares and Hyenas doing the Meet Your Candidates Forum 2014. Uh, thanks to starobserver.com.au, pridetv.com.au and your Victorian Gay and Lesbian Rights Lobby. You've heard from the candidates, decide who you're going to vote for.